My name is Mitch Jansen, and I'm a missionary with the Tascadero Burp Bible Church and an elder here. And after last week, with uh, just sharing the truth about baptism and what Jesus did and what he called us to, there's a number of people that are here to be baptized this morning. So I'd like to introduce, this is Jeff Clark. Jeff, uh, tell us a little bit about you and Jesus. Yeah, well, uh, I accepted the Lord when I was pretty young, um, about 13, uh, down in Riverside at uh, Greg Glory's Calvary Chapel Church, I remember. Um, but I kind of, as teenage years and the 20s came, I kind of drifted away from Christ. And uh, last week, I just felt that, you know, the Lord's been really tugging on my heart lately. And hearing that sermon and everything that was spoken in it, I just, I sure it hit everybody, but it really spoke to me. And I just wanted to give my confession to a crowd, and this certainly is a crowd, <laughs> uh, to uh, my belief in, in Christ as my Lord and Savior. Great. Yeah. Jeff, do you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that he died on the cross and rose again on the third day? Yes. Are you trusting in him and him alone for your salvation? Yes. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is uh, Lisa Benedix. Elisa, tell us your story of Jesus in your life. Um, I, well, I was very young at the time. I don't remember what age I was. Um, but last week, I've, something came down and told me after Tom had spoke to just get baptized. I'm not sure what it was. I can't explain what mm -hmm. or what, but something just said, hey, let's do this right here and now. So. <laughs> Holy Spirit will do that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you have trusted since you were a child yes, that I... Jesus is the Son of God yes. and that he died and rose again for your sins. Yes. Are you trusting in him and him alone for your yes. salvation? Yes, I do. And I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is Dan and Leslie Schoner. Shown. I was bound to get one of them wrong. Dan, share with us how Jesus became a part of your life. Well, my wife and I were uh, um, not really committed in our younger years, and then we met and we decided to get married, and that's when we uh, fully committed. And uh, God loves his uh, children, and he wants us to be more like his son. So uh, Jesus was uh, baptized as an adult, so that's what we're here to do. And Leslie, you came to believe in Jesus as uh, a younger child growing up in the church. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, we grew up in a Lutheran church, so I was sprinkled when I was seven. And I do remember the whole event and um, trusted in God and went to Sunday school, and, but didn't come to know the whole obedience um, message about being fully submerged and born again in Jesus. So, so today you're here... Today you're here to do it for yes. yourself, by your choice. Obedience. Yes. So, Dan and Leslie, do you believe that Jesus Christ is the one and only Son of God and that he died and rose again for our sins? Yes. We do. Are you trusting in him and him alone for your salvation? Yes. yes. Leslie, why don't you stand over here? Dan will be here first. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And this is Nick Miller.
Nick, would you share with us your story of Jesus Christ in your life? Okay, I've, I've been coming to ABC for the last six years. A couple years ago, uh, my wife passed away of cancer, and I started uh, studying in the Bible a hundredfold, and through that, I uh, began to uh, realize that uh, I had the um, Holy Spirit uh, of God in me and helping me understand the Bible more. And I, I don't remember when I was saved. I, um, I know that I loved and prayed to God the Father through God the Son for as long as I remember. And, and through my studies recently, then I realized that it is a commandment that we're baptized. And so that's why I'm here today. And I'm glad you all are here to share that with me. Nick, you've also trusted since you were young that Jesus was the Son of God, the one and only begotten Son of God, and then he died on the cross for our sins and was resurrected on the third day. Yes? Yes, certainly. And you were trusting in him and him alone for your salvation? Most certainly. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Switch. All right. Okay, you're going to have to lean way over here so they can get it. But uh, this is Andy Johnson. And Andy, why don't you share with us uh, how God's been working in your life to bring you to this point? Well, um, my whole life I've been walking down a road that led to nowhere. I've been an addict pretty much since I was 14 and up until July 4th actually when the uh, missions trip my friend Luke Farrell came back from Mexico he said that God chose me for him to disciple and meeting with Luke He's taught me a lot, um, and he's gotten me through a lot, and I have met up with him last night because I was struggling. It was my five-year anniversary to my wife, Jen, and I wanted to go out and celebrate and have a drink, and I didn't. I instead, I went and met with him, and he knows my struggles, and I struggle with an addiction to Xanax, and he told me that that is my gateway to leading to other drugs, and um, when we met last night, he said, you need to flush them, you need to get rid of them and see what happens. And so, last night I prayed for God to, I cherished my pills more than I loved God. I idolized them. And I'm putting all my trust in him and I flushed him. And that's why I'm here today, to be baptized out of obedience to him. Amen. All right. So today do you come before your church family here uh, believing that Jesus Christ is the Son of God that died for your sins and was resurrected from the dead? Yes. And are you placing your faith and trust in him and him alone for the salvation of your sins? Yes. All right. Well, based on your confession of faith, it's my joy and privilege baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, 
It is my privilege to be able to baptize uh, six people today, and it's such an honor. And first is, uh, is Letha Harris. It is warm, huh? Um, Letha, do you want to tell us your story with Jesus? Um, yes, I was baptized when I was a baby, and um, I have been a believer all my life, but um, somehow I got the misunderstanding that uh, the practice of my faith was kind of up to me, and um, my decision about how much uh, I needed to give or, or uh, how in I could be. And then, you know, life circumstances uh, convinced me that my resources were not adequate, and, <laughs> and I um, began to change and be more interested in, in um, what it would mean to have a God, of my, a, a personal God, that um, I might be able to let some of my control let have some control over my life, and and then when that happens, then is, I began to be convinced of a need for a savior, and then I um, eight years ago began a Bible study fellowship, and over the course of that eight years, I have become more and more aware of the character of God and. And I'm much more interested. I'm now all in. Um, I'm much more interested in uh, what God's plans for me are, and His hopes for me, and His expectations. So, so you're trusting in God and, and His only begotten Son for your salvation, Jesus Christ. Yes, I am. Okay. Do you want to take your glasses off? Or no, are you okay? I'm okay. <laughs> Based on your profession of faith, it is my privilege, go ahead and hold it, to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, now we have Margaret Schmidt. Do you want to say your experience with Jesus? Yes. Um, I was raised in a wonderful, loving Christian home. And um, God has just filled my life with so much blessing and so much wonder. And I drifted away from him and was not obedient to him for a long time. And this, with baptism today, I'm going to be obedient towards his will and dedicate my life to his will. That's excellent. That's awesome. Are you counting in Jesus Christ and him alone for your salvation? Yes, I am. Great. By your profession of faith, it is my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Excuse me. And this is uh, Mary Gunn. And Mary, tell us about your encounter with Jesus. Well, I went to the... the service at the church at the uh at Tuscadero football stadium for Easter and they were talking about broken people and I was like whoa they're talking about me and I felt didn't feel so alone I felt yes I am broken but there are other people broken here too and they found a way through God to not be broken awesome awesome we're all broken in one way or another <clears throat> do you believe in Jesus Christ as the only begotten Son of God? Yes, I do. And you trust him and him alone for your salvation? Yes, I do. Okay, by your profession of faith, it is my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And this is Felisa Anderson. Do you want to tell us about your encounter with Jesus? Sure. Um, well, I had spent the last 10 years in Islam as a Muslim, and I was taking the Life's Healing Choices class here at ABC, and so I found myself at a crossroads. Would I continue in Islam, or would I follow Christ? About the same time, we were having financial struggles, and we got a letter from the mortgage company 
saying, my husband calls me freaked out. He's saying, we have 10 days to either pay $1,000 or we need to leave the house. And I was distraught. I didn't know what to do. So I prayed to Jesus. I said, Jesus, I can't do this. I don't have the money. I don't have the resources to move. And I said, if it's, it's going to be your will, I need you to guide me. I need you to fix this. And he did. Amen. I got home, and my husband's fourth language is English. He had first learned Arabic. He had learned French. He had learned Spanish. Then he learned English. So there was a miscommunication. What the letter actually said... <laughs> what the letter actually said was, this is a one-time offer. We, the mortgage company, will give you $1,000 if you leave the house. Get out. We want you out. So that was enough for me. And I came back to Christ. <laughs> Do you believe that Jesus Christ is the only begotten Son of God? Yes. Are you trusting in Him and Him alone for your salvation? Absolutely. Awesome. So by your profession of faith, it's my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Okay, now we have Evan Peterson. Come on down, Evan. Okay, Evan, tell us your encounter with Jesus Christ. Well, I came to know the Lord when I was, well, I was born a Christian, and he's taken me through my life Christian ever since. Christian family, you mean? Christian born family, okay. yeah. I was born into a Christian family, and they helped me through everything, through school and sports, and the Lord was with me the entire time. And I feel like it's time for me to give him my obedience. Okay. So you're trusting in Jesus and Jesus alone for your salvation. Yeah. And so you're willing to basically follow his path and seek him with all, everything you have. Yeah. Great. Turn. Based on your profession of faith, it is my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Okay, now I have the privilege of, of James Binkley. James, tell us about your encounter with Jesus. My encounter with Jesus, um, born and raised Catholic, baptized Catholic. I knew Jesus, fourth period, religion class. Didn't have a relationship with Jesus. My relationship with God was youth football, fourth quarter, <clears throat> wrestling, CIF, last period, down by one. Back up a cop car, first DUI. When did I know that I needed Jesus my whole life? When did I realize I needed to be obedient? Last Sunday when Tom called me out and said I needed to be baptized, sitting in the back corner, coming in and out of these doors, not coming up here, I couldn't go back out that door last Sunday. My own will, my own control, left to my own demise, is emptiness, a miserable life, and wreckage to others. Today I need to be obedient and stop living in the flesh and have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Awesome. That's so many of our customers. Do you believe that Jesus Christ is the only begotten Son of the Father? Yes, I do. Do you trust in Him and Him alone for your salvation? Yes, I do. It is my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let me pray real quick. Father God, we just praise you for your love, how you reach down to us, how you use your son on the cross, his blood shed for our sins. Yet we are selfish and dumb people, and we continue to do the same. We continue to just live for ourselves. Help us live for you. Help us repent and seek you. 
Help us be the men and women of God that you want us to be. And I pray that your Holy Spirit would protect these people baptized today because they have a big target on their back. And God, I just pray for your protection. And I pray all of us would seek you in Jesus' name. <laughs>